Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, LaRusso. LaRusso, a cheap shot to Lee Moriarty, and the Rev Rod Hunt, who in my opinion is the biggest blasphemer in the room, but hides behind this Jesus club, hides behind religion to do whatever the hell he wants without any explanation or any consequence. I don't think Ron Hunt represents any of, of the religious folks out there watching this. I think Rev Hunt represents himself and nobody else. Yeah, I mean, he's out here with his heretics spreading their false religion around here. And I mean, Rev killed a guy earlier tonight. Like, he destroyed him, and he's out for blood. He told me himself. You're I'm a fan of talking about death over there, aren't you? You've been You're morbid this broadcast. Very loose with the word kill. I think Jeez. you need to read a dictionary to find out what that word actually means. I know oh, you're no, an English does, major and all. Does, does he have some, like, deep-rooted psychological issues I don't know about? I know A.J. Alexander does because he's going to illegally choke Lee Moriarty. Zeke Mercer's out there. And you know what? The Rev's going to tell him, oh, that's okay. It's the Lord's will. Jesus would have wanted you to do it. We're doing his work. He's more like a cult leader than a religious leader. I believe Rev, much like everybody else, believes probably in a sense of relativity where ooh, he believes that he's right. And I think everybody, in a sense, oh. believes that they're right. But Rev especially has a very heightened ego compared to most normal men. I think everybody thinks that they're right, and I think everybody else can agree that the Rev is wrong. There's a cover to count only. I mean, in Rev's mind, he probably thinks that Lee's going to get blessed by letting Rev get, go over on him. But, like, that's not the case here. Lee wants this pit fight belt more than anybody. He got over on one of his most arch ne nemesis, La Russo. Easy there inside baseball. Rev Ron Hunt. Now, uh, again, you can't force somebody to support you. You can't force somebody to cheer in your favor. Not with that. He's yelling at. He's yelling. He's yelling, he's yelling at Bruiser. Bruiser. What did Bruiser do? Now he's sad. Cornell, go hug him. I'll stay right here. <laughs> Comfortable right where I am. But Moriarty already looking very uncomfortable. Look at Cornell learning segues. There's a cover, two count only. Lee gets up. Now, Lee has, has brought a lot of energy and excitement into this matchup, gentlemen. The Rev has brought a lot of manipulation and selfishness. We have uh, uh, the yin and the yang in this ring, and we have a championship shot in the balance. It's going to come down to these two, gentlemen. The only thing that I'm really worried about is the two guys outside the ring. I hope they don't get involved in this matchup in any way. Well, they already have. You've watched wrestling before. You know exactly what's going to happen. We've watched wrestling before? I hope so. I mean, we put on a whole wrestling show. That's a good point. Well, Rev. Textbook suplex. Rev's watched a thing or two in his day. He's picked up a lot from, uh, from his watchings, and he's used it to his advantage. Well, ripcord. Lee lands on his feet. Sidestep. Lee the quicker of the two. Oh. Lee gets crotched on the second turnbuckle. And the Rev walks up the back and caught a kick right to that external occipital protuberance of Lee Moriarty. A chop down. Elevated back cracker. This could do it. Rev's got a title opportunity. No. And I'll, I'll rep sneaking his feet on the ropes. Come on. I mean, Moriarty still kicked out, so regardless. Oh, nearly didn't, but thankfully the referee's on top of things. Plus, Lee's always slipping and sliding his way in and out of things. Well, Rev has the, uh, the vulture circling, so to speak. And Rev feels like he's got the situation well in hand. Joe, would you agree with me if, if I said that Rev, tonight especially, may be looking to exercise some demons as at last uh, pit fight, he suffered a loss at the hands of Chris Taylor. So could he definitely uh, attempt to maybe make the fans forget that that ever happened with a victory here tonight? Oh, I think without a doubt, wait a minute, headlock driver coming up, Lee counters. I think if Rev can defeat Lee Moriarty, all that goes away and the focus becomes the pit fight championship. Uh, it's not just the fans forgetting, it's about the Rev's career getting back on track, and it's about getting more power to manipulate the Jesus Club in his favor. 
If Rev takes them to the promised land at the top of pit fight, they'll believe the dogma even more. But it's Moriarty dropping across the arm of the Rev. Yeah, Lee delivered a little bit of divine intervention of his own right there. And the Rev in a bad way, but a reversal. Lee trips him up. Kick to the arm. Rev is vulnerable. Lee really focusing in on that arm. Camera lock. Look like a DDT almost. Yeah, nice takedown into the cover under your fall. And notice how quickly, how fluidly Lee is moving, hitting and striking from all sides. It's so tough to prepare for somebody and defend yourself from somebody when you don't know what direction they're coming from. It's definitely hard to counter. Lee could come from this way, that way, up or down, diagonal, whatever. He always knows a way to injure his opponents. And AJ Alexander and Zeke Mercer, a bit of a concern on their face. We saw Jesus Club dominate uh, before we even went on the air here. Pit fight back to school beat down as part of a uh, pre-show bonus attraction. But right now, uh, the Rev uh, imposing his will once again here on the apex of combat. Pace quick, it's Lee, then it's a drop down into the R bar. Fujiwara style. Rev has the counter, he's clasped the hands together. This keeps the elbow from being hyperextended, the shoulder from being separated, but Lee's broken the grip. And look at AJ Alexander. AJ pulls the foot of the Rev into the ropes for a break. Can never trust a guy who wears sunglasses inside. Don't be upset, man. If you were Rev, wouldn't you want your homies to help you out in that shape or form? Yeah, but I wouldn't want them to wear sunglasses while doing it. Are you on Team Rev now? Wait a second. Listen, all I'm saying is that if I were him, I'd expect my friends to do the exact same for me. And if they wouldn't, I'd be very upset. And AJ, well, I don't know if you were the Rev, how you could be proud of a, of a victory like that, especially with what you espouse at all. Rev with a flip pile driver. That'll do it. Rev, no! Rev in awe of the Lee kicking out of that move right there. I think Rev channeled some kind of divine spirit to pull that one off. But Lee Moriarty rises from the dead to escape. I don't know, Rev might need to channel some demons if he thinks he's gonna put Lee down that easy. Well, Rev has the official, and here's poor little Zeke Mercer, who's been manipulated into joining this group. Wait a minute. Oh, look at Lee! Uppercut, down goes Zeke! And now, wait a minute. AJ just passed the Rev. Uh, is that that face mask he wore out here? I believe that's the mask, yeah. Lee ducks oh, out of the way. Misses wildly, connects with a boot straight to AJ. Oh, AJ hit with a hard thud. And he's, I think the ref now realizes that he's got an illegal weapon. Yeah, Lee waving bye-bye. Lee doesn't see it. The official does, thankfully. Yeah, that mask looks like it got a couple pointy bits on it. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it certainly looks to be a hard oh. material. And come on. Rev downstairs on Lee. And got that headlock driver. Don't tell me. Rev steals a victory. 26 minutes, 50 